Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make this 360 degree photo like effect of the silhouette that you made last week. Uh, really simple, let's get right into it. For this tutorial you're going to be using the skyline that you made last week. So if you don't know how to do that just follow the link in the description and the sidebar. So we're going to select our skyline by clicking on it, pressing Alt and Shift and moving it to the side somewhere over here. Okay. Let's zoom into our skyline. Then we're gonna to go to Effect, Warp, and Arc. And it'll create this arc. I want to make sure that the arc is horizontal. The bend is at 100%. And then you can choose your distortion. If you want some these buildings to stick out a bit more than they actually do, you can use this distortion and bring it towards a negative value. Something like that. And if you bring it to negative 100%, that disappears. Aim press. Okay, good. Having done that, what you want to do with the object selected, go to Object and Expand Appearance. Okay, select your object, Control C, Control Shift V. Okay, so we've just copied and pasted in place. Press R right in the middle there, and hold Shift to rotate it by 90 degrees. Now, after you do this, you just have to make sure some things line up, but mostly they actually do. So that's all there actually is to this uh, tutorial. You've created your little circle. To unite this object, select both objects right here. Go here to Pathfinder, press Unite. Now you don't have the line in the middle. You can easily resize this to any size you want. And you have your little 3D bubble view of your city. That's all there is to it. So I hope you like this tutorial. Uh, check out our other videos. If you have any questions, write them in the comments below. Any suggestions, please write them. Uh, like this video. If you really like our stuff, subscribe. And of course, as always, have a great day.